The United States said the world is against Russia's two-month-long invasion of Ukraine. This was demonstrated by defense talks in Germany involving more than 40 countries, which sought to speed up and synchronize arms supplies to Kyiv. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin held an event at Ramstein Air Base after a trip to Kyiv, where he pledged additional military support for Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky's military efforts, which are at a crossroads. He added that he wanted officials to leave the meeting, with a common and transparent understanding of Ukraine's immediate security requirements because we are going to keep moving heaven and earth so that we can meet them. Austin also noted that more than 30 allies and partners have joined the US in sending security assistance to Ukraine, and more than $5 billion worth of equipment has been committed. US Army General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, warned that Ukraine needs more security assistance to defend itself against an unfolding and potentially decisive Russian offensive in the east. He said the coming weeks would be critical. Time is not on Ukraine's side, Milley said, talking to reporters in closed-door interviews. The outcome of this struggle, right here today, depends on the people in this room. Milley added, the Ukrainians are going to fight. We have to make sure they have the means to fight. Backed by Ukrainian troops after a failed assault on Kyiv in the north, Moscow has redeployed troops to the east for a ground offensive in the Donbass. U.S. officials, speaking anonymously, estimate Russia will rely heavily on artillery strikes in an attempt to attack Ukrainian positions. However, the United States also believes that many Russian units are depleted and some are operating with personnel losses as high as 30 percent, a level that the U.S. military considers too high to continue fighting, officials said. Officials said more than 40 countries attended the event, and a scan of the conference room showed countries mostly from Europe, but also from other countries, including Israel, Kenya, and Australia. Representatives from South Korea and Japan were virtually present on the screen. This assembly reflects a galvanized world, Austin said. Germany announced for the first time that it would supply heavy weapons to Ukraine. We have decided that Germany will facilitate the supply of Jeopard self-propelled air defense systems to Ukraine. German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht said in Ramstein during her speech.